Hello everyone, this is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in this video, I'll show you how we can use Open3D library, which was introduced by the researchers of Intel Lab. So this Open3D is an open source library and we can use it for processing 3D uh, datasets. Okay. And there are various kind of tasks which we can perform using Open3D. For example, you can perform scene reconstruction, you can perform surface alignment, 3D visualization, and there are other uh, different type of tasks also which we can do using Open3D. And I will discuss all those things in my upcoming videos also, right? So, and guys, there is one more module with the name of Open3D ML, which is an extension of Open3D only. And using Open3D ML, we can you know perform 3d machine learning task where we can use machine learning tools for 3d data pr processing okay so this open 3d ml this also i have an, a separate video on it in my next class i'll show you how we can use open 3d ml okay but today we are going to focus on open 3d only i'll show you how we can set up our environment to run open 3d module and then I'll show you what kind of different methods are there, how we can use those different methods and how we can work on a 3D data set. OK, so all these things we are going to cover in our today's class. So before moving to that practical implementation, I want you to understand about a few things because those things we are going to use that terminology we are going to use in our today's class. So I I think uh, let's talk about those things first so that whenever I'll be using those terminologies in my class, you'll be able to understand what I'm trying to say. OK, so uh, let's understand what are point clouds, what are 3D meshes and what are 3D models. OK, these three things we are going to use in our today's class, you know, after at some point of time we are going to use these terminologies so let's understand them first okay so now let's begin with a uh, point clouds so what are point clouds see point clouds is a collection of points which represents some object okay so basically whenever you want to create any 3d model or 3d meshes right so the very first step is point clouds collection of points which you know uh, which which represents an object okay so guys don't worry about 3d meshes and what are 3d uh, models i will explain you about these things in a some time okay right now just understand that with the help of point clouds we can make 3d meshes and models okay and point clouds are just a collection of points which represents an object all right so now where we can use point clouds where else we can use point clouds right so point clouds are also used in virtual reality right object rendering 3d printing 3d gaming all these kinds of in all these areas we use point clouds now the question here is let's suppose you want to build your own 3d model then how you can start building your own custom 3d uh, model okay so the very first thing thing is you need point clouds okay now how to create point clouds from where you can get these point clouds okay so if you want to create your own point clouds so uh, we can generate point clouds using 3d laser scanners or you can use lidars right light detection and ranging so using these 3d scanners and lidars you can generate 3d point clouds all right now let's talk about mesh what is 3d mesh so this 3d mesh is the structural build or a structural base of a 3d model all right and we can generate this 3d mesh from point clouds so the first step is point clouds so if you have point clouds from those point clouds you can generate 3d mesh and what is 3d mesh 3d mesh is a structural base of a uh, 3d model all right and guys uh, when we are talking about this mesh mesh is basically a collection of vertices edges and faces that decides that 3d model height width and depth okay now let's talk about 3d model now what are 3d models so 3d model is a 3d image okay and these 3D images, these 3D objects can be used for animations, video games, movies, architecture. You can use it in commercial advertisements, right? So we can use these 3D models in different areas. 
now when we are saying 3d model the core part of the 3d model is a 3d mesh okay so mesh is just a data uh, you know about the structure of the model and then this 3d model is gives us the whole information like what would the texture texture of that model color and reflectivity right these kind of things so we have uh, point clouds then mesh and then 3d model mesh a collection of points from those collection of points we generate 3d meshes what are 3d meshes 3d meshes are just a structural base of a model and that 3d mesh is the core um, part of the 3d model so the model actually tells about the you know gives information about the texture color reflectivity light these kind of things so these are the three things now let's go to the practical implementation of this algorithm uh, of this module okay three object um, open 3d module all right so guys for that all right so i always say that create separate environment and works under it so i'm using anaconda and i have created a separate environment you can see over here i'm using python 3.6 right and i've created a separate environment with this name and then i'm activating the environment and guys to run open 3d you just need to run this one command and open 3d will be installed on your pc and then you can use it okay so we are installing open 3d from here and guys the data set which we are going to use in a today's class link is over here you can see the stanford uh, 3d scanning repo so they have different data sets 3d different data sets over here you'll scroll down and you can see this is these are the stanford mod model this is the stanford bunny model 3d model and if you want to use this bunny model you can download it from here okay in the same way another model is drill bit you can install it from here and then we have happy buddha model you can download it from here dragon model in the same way we have lots of models so in my today's class i'll show you some of the models from here and i'll show you how to use that data set 3d models okay so let's begin so once you run all these commands you have open 3d installed now let's import the open 3d library and after that over here you can see i want to download this file bunny.pcd file now what this pcd means right so guys before moving to this uh, cell let's talk about this uh, file formats right so uh, point clouds there are the different file formats we can use for storing the point clouds right so these are the different extensions so let's suppose if you have um, a data set with any of these extensions that means that file contains the point cloud data okay so over here see we have bunny.pcd so you can see pcd over here here so this pcd simply means point cloud data right so that means this bunny.pcd file contains point clouds now we have other formats also this xyz right so this xyz contains the coordinates 3d coordinates so guys we we are talking about 3d data that means we are going to have three different coordinates x y and z okay so in the same way these are the other point coordinates um, these are the other file extensions you can see over here x y z and then we have rgb rgb is for colors and the value of rgb lies between um, 0 to 1 okay so uh, these are the other file formats this ply this file extension also you'll see many time this file extension so what this ply file extension is this means polygon file format okay and this polygon file format this extension can store both things like it can store point clouds and it can also store mesh data okay so whenever you have this file format that means we are, we are talking about a file which have point clouds and mesh data also all right so these are the file extensions of point clouds whenever you want to store point clouds so these are the different file extension you can use so now let's go back to this cell over here you can see there is a bunny.pcd file that means this is a point cloud file and we are downloading that 
ओके आई हैव कमेंटेड दिस लाइन बिकॉज आई हैव ऑलरेडी डाउनलोडेड दिस फाइल सो वेन एवर यू विल यूज इट अनकमेंटेड सो दैट यू विल हैव दिस बनी डॉट पी सी डी फाइल विद यू वंस यू हैव दिस बनी डॉट पी सी डी फाइल विद यू देन यू कैन रन दिस कमांड यू कैन सी फ्रॉम ओपन थ्री डी मॉड्यूल वी आर यूजिंग दिस मैथड रीड पॉइंट क्लाउड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस मैथड वी कैन रीड द पॉइंट्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन पॉइंट क्लाउड फाइल so from this point cloud file i want to read all the points so you can see the output over here is we have 397 points in this bunny.pcd point cloud file okay so this is how you can read the point clouds now okay guys let me show you the folder also okay here so this is the this is the folder in which i'm working so you just create a separate folder and start working under that folder and you can see my bunny.pcd file over here right this is the file i have downloaded and i'm loading that file over here and i'm reading the point clouds from that file okay now let's move to the next part all right so guys over here i'm telling you about the another method that is write point cloud okay so with the help of earlier we have used the method read point cloud which will read the point cloud from the file okay write point cloud file simply means suppose you have one file and you want to copy the content of that file you want to copy those point cloud points into a, another file then you can use this file write point cloud now what will happen is we will get a new file with this name and under that file we want to copy we want to you know copy the points which are present in pcd folder what is there in pcd folder all the point clouds from this bunny.pcd file okay so this is how you can write point clouds in another files all right and over here over here i'm showing you how to read uh let's suppose if you don't have a point clouds in a pcd format you have a point cloud in different format let's say xyz so we have xyz file format also so how to read that just use the same method read point cloud give the file name and you have to define here format xyz it will read the file and here i am printing the points from that point cloud file so we are having these many points in this sample.xyz file all right so guys now the next thing is mesh now let's see what are the different file extensions we can use when we want to store the mesh data 3d mesh structure base of the model okay so one of them is plyy this i have already explained you here also right so this plyy file extension simply means polygon file format and it can store 3d mesh and point clouds and these are the other file formats all right now let's see how we can read the meshes okay so whenever you want to read the mesh this is the method you use read triangle mesh okay and this is my mesh file not dot plyy so plyy file simply means this is this is storing the mesh data okay so when i'm printing you can see this file have 1440 points and 2880 triangles guys when we whenever we talk about meshes right 3d meshes so they there we have triangles and polygons okay so that's why we are getting 2880 triangles okay and how we read the mesh data we read it using this method okay so this is just a basic thing now let's use the data set and see the practical implementation okay so i am importing all the required modules and then i'm downloading this bunny model from the stanford this bunny model okay this now i'm downloading this bunny model okay this is a 3d model so what i'm doing is i'm using wget to download this will download the data now when you download it that file over here bunny data so this is a zip file now we want to unzip it okay after unzipping you will get this folder now let me show you how so this code will unzip the file and it will extract all the data in bunny folder and after that okay let's go here bunny folder 
under that bunny folder you will be having two folders go to this reconstruction and now we will use this you can see guys these all are 3d objects so these are plyy files okay so now i will read this file and i will show you okay so guys you can see here i'm reading that bun zipper from reconstruction folder which is in bunny folder and then read triangle mesh is a method which will read a mesh okay and this will compute the vertex normals now these two lines these two lines draw geometries means it will draw a picture okay now what i'm doing is these two lines will draw the mesh and these two lines will draw the uh, point clouds now let me execute this whole code and show you okay let's comment it and guys now you can see here you can see this picture so this is a 3d mesh you can see and guys if you zoom it now you will see small small triangles small small triangles on it so these are the triangles i'm talking about okay these are the triangles i'm talking about so this is our 3d mesh see i'm just rotating my mouse and you can see this model so this is the 3d mesh we are talking about now let's close it and after that this these are the point clouds remember guys i'm telling you that this plyy file have point clouds and 3d mesh so these are the point clouds of that bunny and this also you can rotate and see so this the, these are the point clouds of that bunny model and the previously which i've shown you that was a where was it okay so where is it just give me a second guys okay so we saw that in the same way now we can work on different models so this time i'm using a buddha dataset this buddha dataset is also here this happy buddha right you can download this dataset from here and this is what i'm doing i'm downloading the dataset once you download the dataset extract the dataset once you extracted the dataset we are reading this file okay we have one folder with the name of happy underscore reckon in this folder we have extracted the buddha zip file let's see that okay so happy reckon open it so this is the 3d model this is the plyy file which have mesh and the poly uh, mesh and the point clouds so we are reading this file okay now you can see these two lines will draw the 3d mesh and these two line will draw the 3d uh, point cloud now let's run it and see so you can see again so this is the 3d mesh right you can see this is the 3d mesh okay after that this is the 3d point cloud of that buddha model okay so this is how you can see it and after that guys in the same way you can work for other data set so this is the dragon data set we are extracting it and after extracting we are reading the dragon plyy file and once you read that dragon plyy file let me work on this also this is our 3d dragon okay and now let me show you the point clouds of that this is the point point cloud of 3d dragon right so this is how you can read the files and work on it okay now now what i want to show you is the next thing is voxel down sampling voxel down sampling this this part is very important guys again we when we work on 2d data set what we do we do data pre processing right before working on before uh, implementing the algorithm on it we do some pre processing on it so this voxel down sampling is basically what it means is with the help of this voxel down sampling so this is basically a pre processing task and 
it takes the point cloud from the input 3d uh, input 3d image and then it down sample right and what we does is uh, points which are in one voxel what are voxels say guys in 2d images we have pixels right so in the same way in 3d images we have voxels okay and what we does is the points which are in one voxel we average them and get one point from that whole voxel okay so this is how we do down sampling and what is the benefit of this down sampling with the help of down sampling you know um, speed will be fast because we will be having less number of data points right and storage size will be we, we can reduce the storage size and we, if the dimensions we have reduced the dimension processing will be fast and data will also look more manageable okay so let me show you the implementation of it so guys you remember just now we have seen the dragon file so let me show you again okay the dragon file let me show you one more time this one so guys these many different point these are the different point clouds we have in dragon okay now we want to perform some sort of down sampling on it right so you have seen the point clouds now after performing down sampling see we have only we have only these many point clouds okay so what happen is the number of point clouds reduced right complexity will be reduced all right so i'll show you another example for this voxel down sampling you can understand uh, the concept in a better way then so this is another file with the name of fragment.plyy so i'm reading that file right and then guys over here i'm visualizing that file okay so this file i'm showing you this file so this is basically the this these are the point clouds you can see so many point clouds are over here now let's perform voxel down sampling on it so i have performed voxel down sampling on it right with this method you can perform voxel down sampling with this method and after that i'm plotting it and you can see see the above picture and then see this one compare so many number of uh, points are very less in this image as compared to over here right so this is what uh, this uh, voxel down sampling is right and then guys let's suppose you want to crop some object from the 3d model let's suppose you have a uh, a 3d uh, you have a image 3d image but there are different objects in it but you want to only pick one 3d object from that image so how you can do that so for that guys what you need to do is you have to prepare one json file so i have one json file this crop.json let me open this file and show you crop json file this so let me open it so this is my crop json file so over here i have written the points which i want to show okay so then just read that file using that this method read selection polygon volume means we only want to show these points and we want to ignore all the points which are there in that 3d image and we have uh, just pasted those points in this crop.json file and after that using this crop point cloud right and then we are visualizing it now let me show it to you okay what happened to it guys let me just execute these commands once then only it will work just a second please these things i have explained you already right yeah so this is that cropped chair okay now let me correct it so this is that 3d chair okay so the data which is present in crop.json those points uh, gives us the information of this particular object 
so i'm showing you that object over here right so this is how you can crop it now the next thing is let's suppose you want to color that object so the simple thing you can do is call this method provide some values over here on the basis of these values you will get a color so now we have that object only okay guys one second so this is that 3d chip right and we have changed the color of it okay you can see this is the 3d chair you can change the color of that 3d object like this and then let's suppose you want to plot the bounding boxes on it then you can follow these few lines draw geometries and these few uh, get oriented bounding box and then get x is a line bounding boxes using this you can plot the bounding boxes you can see we have bounding boxes on that object right so this is how you can plot it and after that guys over here what we are trying to do is i'm reading this just give me a second guys so this is a another file okay yeah so let's let's see here so basically how you let's suppose this is the actual image but you don't want to show this actual 3d mesh you want to crop some part of it then using this script over here guys i'll share this uh, jupiter notebook and the description section you can try all these steps yourself right so by just this um, this code you can crop the knot you can see over here we have the whole uh, knot and over here we have the crop node again you want to color the node that crop node you will you can use this command and you can color the node right so this is how this uh, open 3d library works right so these are some um, basic functions i have shown you there are other functions also you can see there um, uh, this open 3d documentation from there you can you know learn about more functions of this open 3d library right so uh, that's it guys in my next video i'll show you how we can use open 3d ml which is related to machine learning tasks right so we'll see that also in our next video and that's it to, for today's class thank you for watching